Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, last night, someone again reminded me about uh, the death of uh, um, Gary Kurtz, and I said I would say something, so I'm going to do it now. Uh, we all have to remember that in 1976, 75, when um, George Lucas was getting ready to film Star Wars, that a lot of people in Hollywood didn't really uh, get it, they didn't understand it, uh, and Gary Kurtz was one of the people that kind of helped get the ball rolling, uh, him and uh, Alan Wedge, and Gary Kurtz uh, basically helped shape both A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, and you have to understand, George Lucas is a brilliant, brilliant man, he's a genius, but it's very difficult at times for uh, a man like that to self-edit. Um, you know, everything is going on a thousand miles an hour in his head. He knows what he wants to see. The problem is you can't stick everything into a two-hour movie and make it under coherent. Gary Kurtz is able to kind of help him fashion the story, uh, with the help of, of Marshall Lucas, uh, help guide the process. So it was Lucas's vision, but it made sense. It worked. Um, and without you know George Lucas, we without Gary Kurtz, we would not be here today. Um, you know, Star Wars would have been a, a cult movie, probably something weird uh people went to see for a little bit but it would not have been the movie that uh turned into a franchise uh the greatest ip of all time film ip of all time so why well, i remember uh gary kurtz today because he was truly important in the beginnings of star wars truly important to helping george lucas uh, realize his vision for star wars and We've lost a giant, and uh, my heart goes out to his family, to his friends, and I just want to say, for me, as a Star Wars fan, thank you, Gary, for helping put this beautiful legacy together, and we'll see you all in Valhalla. This is Steph, signing out. See you on the galaxy.